guys, yesterday evening there was a big thunderstorm and it looks like a branch fell off our tree, a big one and it probably destroyed some of our shrubs Oh my god Which are underneath, so we have to assess the damage now It's a big one, big branch Yeah It could destroy maybe three, four shrubs because they are also tiny Yeah Okay, so this one is alive and yeah so we have to carefully remove it from here yeah so you have to help me let's remove it Looks like all these three shrubs are alive. Yeah. So by a miracle, they were not damaged. Only this pole. <laughs> okay, we got lucky. Yeah. Looks like we weren't lucky after all. Look at this poor plane tree. It was tall, and it isn't anymore. It's totally broken off. Wow. So this is sad. A sad day for this tree. It was our tallest tree yeah. from the ones we planted since we moved here. Not anymore. Yeah. I don't know what happened because I don't think the wind was that strong, but apparently it was. Blame it on the weatherman. No, blame it on the thunderstorm. <laughs> This part of the tree was weak because there were holes caused by insects that we tried to, you know, repair. But I guess that's the reason that even not that strong wind caused this. Yeah. So there was some wind damage on our property, but actually we got really lucky because on that day there was a devastating tornado in our region. So I was at this weather conference with experts from the whole Europe that specialized in thunderstorms and thunderstorm research. And this conference went on throughout the whole week. And every day we practiced a thunderstorm forecast because that's the aim of this conference. You have to learn how to forecast thunderstorms. And we were working in groups, in three groups, on Thursday, on the day of the tornado. And every group put a level 3 danger on our region. That's the highest level. So we expected heavy thunderstorms. We expected a very big hail in thunderstorms and severe wind gusts. Also a possibility of a tornado, but you know that's always just a small probability. And then in the evening, we wanted to plant some shrubs with Tommy, right? Mm -hmm. And we were outside. I was looking at radar and thunderstorms were coming our way. Then it was thundering everywhere, but that thunderstorm dissipated. So we planted the shrubs on and off because it was raining a bit. Then I told to Tommy that he should park the car into our garage because it could be dangerous, maybe hail or something. And then in the evening I got a phone call from my colleague that there was a tornado, but I expected some minor tornado because usually here we get like one or two weak tornadoes per year some minor damage on trees or maybe one house gets hit or somewhere in the middle of the field right yeah or somewhere in the middle of the field so it's very rare and many people think that there are no tornadoes in europe but there are but then i looked at the news Seven towns and villages have been badly damaged, with entire buildings turned into ruins and cars overturned. While a tornado ravages the Czech Republic, 
Im Süden Tschechiens hat ein Tornado im Grenzgebiet zu Österreich mehrere Dörfer verwüstet. We begin today in the Czech Republic, where several villages have been ripped through by a tornado. Nejsilnější tornádo v novodobé historii Česka spustošilo obce na Hodonínsku. It was a devastating tornado, F3 or maybe even F4 on the tornado scale. And it was very damaging. It hit four villages and Almost everything is gone there. All the roofs, the houses are destroyed. There were hundreds of injured people and some casualties as well. And that never happened in our country, such strong tornado. So I was looking at the news and wow, that was very emotional for me. We were very lucky that it didn't hit us because our house is barely standing as it is. Yeah, so. it would be gone. Our house would be gone. And we were thinking with Tommy what we would do because people here are not used to tornadoes at all. They don't know what to do. There was a lot of footage on the news with people filming the tornado instead of hiding, right? Yeah, because in the US everyone knows where the nearest shelter is or where to run and they know it's serious. There is this tornado watch and everything. But here there is nothing like that. People are not used to it and there was nowhere to hide. The tornado just hit and everything was gone in seconds. We think this was the strongest tornado that ever happened here in Central Europe. So it was very shocking this whole event. So the tornado was about 60 kilometers or 40 miles away from our country house, right? Yeah, so still quite far, but it could have happened anywhere mm -hmm. because you don't know where the strong thunderstorm is going to develop and you definitely don't know if there is going to be a tornado or not. So it was just very random and We could have been hit as well, so it's quite scary. Then in the evening this thunderstorm came with this wind that damaged the trees, but it was nothing compared to the tornado, of course. We got lucky. Yeah. It's time to check how our gooseberries are doing. It looks like they are getting ripe. We planted several different variants and this is the red one. And it's turning red and it's getting soft. I can feel it, so I think it could be edible at this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is? Yeah. So give me one. Mm -hmm. You might remember what gooseberries taste like, right? But I don't remember exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's sweet. Yeah, I like it. Good. Because we'll have more in the upcoming years. Yeah. Here are our current shrubs. We have all three variants: white currant, red currant, and black currant. Black being the best one. <laughs> and they are only getting ripe, but it's still gonna take some time, so we haven't tasted it yet. Except this one, white currant. Looks like it's getting white, which is the desired final state. So maybe I will taste one just for fun. It's sour, as it should be. Mm -hmm. And when you take it off the shrub, it goes quite easily, which means it should be ripe, probably. Okay. Looks like someone's hungry. Yeah. <laughs> But I always want to taste bigger amount, because one ball is not enough for me. I want to have, you know, white currant taste overload. So greedy. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so this is maybe enough. Ah! <laughs> wow, it's so sour. But you are right, it should be like this. Uh -huh. So I think it's right. That's why I like the black one the most, because mm -hmm. it's a little bit more sweeter. Yeah. Sweet kinds of fruit are better. <laughs> Our flower meadow is starting to look very colorful. I love it. Yeah, it looks very pretty. Yeah. 
I have no idea what these flowers are. They are just some random weeds uh, that uh, Peter's mom sent us and we planted them. You can see white flowers, blue slash purple flowers. I like this, these yellow ones. They look very nice. Uh, there is some wild poppy seed here as well, which is flowering and creating uh, new seeds. Mm -hmm. So from here, these flowers will hopefully spread on the field and help us transform it into a meadow. Yeah, I see small pink ones here uh, and this purple yeah. one. And lavender. And yeah, here we have lavender. And some uh, sunflowers as well, which I planted here. I just randomly threw some uh, seeds here, mm -hmm. leftovers from last year, and some of them took. So, yeah, it's going well. Yeah, should be very pretty. It's hammock time. I prepared these ropes. So we just need to do this now. And it's ready. <laughs> the hardest part is to get into the hammock. Do it gracefully. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Always looks so romantic in other videos. Right. But this is the reality. <laughs> Ta da! Should I swing you? Why not? <laughs> It's great here in the shade, mm -hmm. because now it's really hot, so this is ideal. We found a perfect spot. Yes. And this is our great green tunnel. I want it here. Because before there was a fence, but now you can walk through it. And ta -da! So this is the best spot for our hammocks. I've got my own hammock as well and Peter prepared this designated spot for me here. Mm -hmm. So let's try it out. It's working. Okay, I was afraid it won't hold but it looks good. How is it? Oh, fell down on me. <laughs> I think that's a plum. Oh, that's a plum. Yes. Baby plum. <laughs> yeah, I miss this. And that's it for today's video. But the summer continues. In fact, it has just begun, which is great because it's an exciting season here at our country house. Yeah, so I'm sure there are many adventures ahead of us. Yeah, so until then, bye! bye.